Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're looking at this Lenox hole saw kit. And so these kits allow you to drill perfect holes into wood or even metal. And uh, so I'm gonna go over this kit and what it includes. Uh, you will notice that they sell different sizes on the bits. So you wanna pay attention to that when you're shopping for these. And uh, some have more uh, bits than others. And also the depth is very important too for what you will be cutting. Uh, so anyway, this is what the packaging looks like. Interestingly enough, I didn't see any instructions that came with it. And so we're gonna go ahead and go through uh, the operation of this. Uh, again, though, it's up to you to go get the official instructions and follow it. Um, I'm just showing you how it appears to me and, and uh, what the kit looks like. Uh, but make sure you find an operator's manual and consult that before you start. So inside the kit, you'll see we have all these different sizes. And on the back, you'll see some holes in the back. We'll show you what that, uh, how that works in a minute. But this kit came with two different sizes for the chucks. And so you can see the larger one here. And when you go down to the smaller uh, size bit here, you'll have to use the smaller size one. And so quite simply, it just goes on the top. You'll notice these have a drill bit that's built into the front for a pilot hole and then threads on the bottom. And so what you'll do is slide the, uh, the bit over the drill bit part here, and then you'll thread it together. Now you'll also notice that on the bit it has squared off a little bit, and uh, that is for putting the, like a wrench on it to help tighten it down. So for example, we're gonna open up our drill here, and this is, I believe, a half inch drive. You would need that for our bigger size at least uh, on, the, uh, on the drill. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten this down. And then uh, tighten the chuck on the actual drill so that it's good and tight here. And next, uh, there's two different sizes I found that would work in 11 sixteenths. And then also an 18 millimeter. So either one of those should work. Uh, but what you'll notice is you can put it in here on the very front. There's that uh, squared off area. Now you can also put it in a vise, but you don't wanna tighten it down too much. It doesn't need to go on super tight. And uh, if you're using the drill, be careful. You really don't want the battery in the drill at the time that you have your hands near it as you're uh, taking it on and off. Uh, so uh, anyway, you can tighten it down until it's snug here. So this is what it will look like. And uh, it should have a little bit of the drill bit protruding through the front for your pilot hole. And the kit also did come with a small adapter piece. And so this is what it looks like. And so basically, if you wanted to use one of the larger bits, then this will screw into the bottom of it and allow you to use the smaller uh, chuck for it. So you see that one goes in here. Now the smaller size one can screw into the bottom and then you can tighten it down the same way with a wrench. As for this other size, the bigger one that we'll use, you will need a 15 16 wrench for this one. So that's pretty big. Make sure you have one of those. And uh, so you'll uh, loosen this jam nut first. And so you can put it in a vise if that helps too. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and spin this down. And now that allows us to move this other part down too. As you can see it can slide up and down now. So now we have our two nubs here on each side. And so on the back side of our bit, you're gonna see the holes that those will line up with. And you'll also notice as we're putting this on that there's threads here at the bottom. And so that's what the bit will screw onto first. So thread that on. So now as it starts to get tight, we wanna line up two of those holes into the back of the bit. So you can see here, as I go through the front here, you can see that those holes now line up. And once they're up in there, now we can take our jam nut and tighten it back down. Okay, now don't over tighten it, but again, we can take our 15 16 now and just put it on that jam nut and just uh, tighten it down just a little bit. You'll notice in between it that there is a small little rubber gasket. So just make sure that that's on there nice and snug, but it's not uh, smashing it. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and open up our drill here. And then we can slide it in the front and go ahead and tighten that back down. So 
So make sure you're wearing the proper safety equipment when you're doing this. Safety glasses are definitely good to have. And I even like to have some gloves with this. Uh, there's a lot of torquing and moving motion, as you'll see with the drill. Okay, so as we start to drill into our piece of wood, we're going to drill with the pilot hole. And once we get down, we're going to slow down with the drill. And then, uh, again, go into, I have it on number one on the speed here, just to start to bite into the wood. Okay, once it appears to be going in pretty good, we're going to go ahead and switch this to uh, three. Hold on tight and drill on through. And so what you'll notice is as we reverse it, the chunk of wood has come out with it, which is what it should do. However, we didn't make it quite all the way through our piece of wood because the bit is not deep enough. Uh, there is uh, the back hole, though, we can see that we can line up our pilot hole with, and that way we can drill the rest of it out. If it didn't go through the wood here, you could also just take a drill bit and drill it right through the front and then uh, line it back up and drill it right through. So that worked really well. You can see the nice clean hole that it made, and that was even having to come from each side, but we were able to line it up. Now, uh, what we're gonna do next is remove the battery on the drill, um, pull the trigger, make sure there's no power on it. And careful, this can all be really hot. Uh, but uh, what I wanted to show you is up here, there's the little notch for us to remove the piece of wood that's stuck in there. So you take a screwdriver and you put it in the back and you just push it forward through that channel. And that's how you get that wood out. So just move it right on through. You can even switch sides if you need to. And uh, just push it right out. Now there are other bits that they make that are a little bit deeper. As you can see, this one says 40% deeper. So if you're doing this a lot, it would be worth it. Or if you couldn't come up from the backside on something that you were drilling up very easily, then this would work. Here's a piece of wood, as you can see. And so it kind of shows you the different uh, depth here that you can get. So there are other bits that are available. Okay, so as for this one, we're gonna go ahead and loosen up our jam nut. And then we can pull our uh, piece down and out and unthread uh, the bit from it. Okay, and so that's as easy as it is to use one of these. Uh, I think it's uh, something that comes in handy very much if you want to drill a nice hole into something. And so that's what the chuck looks like. Uh, that's what this kit is. So. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, please check the video description where I'll put uh, links in where you can purchase these and also links to the other videos that I've made that are similar to this. Thanks, guys.